Hey, it's Joe Tamargo from WetHeadPumpRepair.com. All right, we're back with the WhisperFlow WF28 pump. We just showed you how to install the front bearing and how to install the bearing clip. Now I'm going to show you how to push down the end bell without damaging the front bearing. Okay, we're using a kit here that we sell that includes the two bearings and seals. And then later on, uh, we could also install, or you could also install, the nice gasket kit. Okay, here's a nice gasket kit. We also sell this on the website. There you go, all right? The gasket kit. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to show you. I'm going to stand up this armature, just like that. We're going to take a three-quarter black nipple. We're going to put it over the shaft. And then we're going to take a hammer. We're going to tap this a few times so we can set the bearing in place inside the end bell. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now we have set the end bell in place there, just like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to tighten that center screw that we had showed you earlier in the other part of the video. Okay, so I'm going to put my finger back here behind there just to hold that. And I'm going to tighten the center screw down, just like that. And what that's going to do is let my bearing spacer retainer, my bearing retainer, hold back on the back of my bearing. Okay, so I'm going to loosen this up here. I'm just going to adjust this. Okay, so it's covering my bearing, just like that. And now I'm just going to tighten it down. And there we go, okay? So, there, now I have got my front bearing spacer on there, the screw's on, my front end bell's on, and now we're gonna get ready to put the armature inside of the motor stator, okay? So, on a lot of guys watch my videos, just to give you a, a quick tip here, a lot of people get confused and don't feel bad, don't get confused, you know how to learn, everybody has to learn. On AC motors, which is an alternating current motor, okay? This is an armature, and this is the, actually the stator. Now, in a DC motor, like what a lot of guys are used to rebuilding, okay, that's a lot different. There's brushes inside of there instead of motor windings. You know, and, your, and your copper would be wrapped around this armature here. So that would be different. So in the old days, you'd have your copper that would all be wrapped around your armature, and then you'd have a set of brushes. But this is totally different. Your copper is actually inside your stator, and this is actually your armature here, okay? So I'm going to show you how to put this back together now. Uh, I'm going to take my... Um, motor armature here and I'm going to put this back in the vise, okay, and when it's first, what, the thing we're going to show you is what to check for in the rear end bell, and then we're going to show you how to put the motor shaft inside of the end bell, then we're going to show you how to tighten the through bolts. Now remember, all parts are available at wetheadpumprepair.com. We've got gasket kits for the whisper flow. We've got, uh, if you don't want a whole gasket kit, we've got two bearings and a seal, you know, the mechanical seal, uh, sold separately there, all right, and we got everything you need. All right, so if you need anything, uh, just go to the website. Uh, and we're going to show you now how to take the stator and check for the back spring washer, which is the wavy washer, you people call it the wavy washer. We're going to show you how to check for the wavy washer, and we're going to show, so show you how to install the armature right now.